Hi there, my name is Natasha Kalsadi. I'm a photographer and educator here at Sammy's Photo School. I teach the Lightroom beginner class and advanced class, and today I'd like to share with you how I manage my files, how to download them, and where to keep your catalog. Now, a lot of students get confused as far as where to keep the catalog. You have a few choices. You can keep the catalog on an internal hard drive of your computer, or you can keep it on an external hard drive. And if you keep it on the external hard drive, then you have a choice of moving it around between computers. Say you have a desktop and a laptop and you want to work with the same Lightroom catalog on both machines. You can actually even interchange them between Mac and PC computers as well. Okay, so let's jump into setting up our catalog on an external hard drive this time. And uh, when I do a photo shoot, I always shoot to two cards uh, because I like to have a backup just in case one card um, goes bad. I always have a backup on the second one. So I have the exact images on both cards. So uh, we are going to launch Lightroom and we're going to create a new catalog uh, as we launch it. If you hold your Option or Alt key and then launch Lightroom, you will get a splash screen that will indicate where or which catalog you would like to open. So here I'm going to generate a new catalog. I'm going to choose Create a New Catalog. I'm going to navigate to the drive that I already have connected, which is my A master drive, and I will create my catalog there, and I will name this catalog LRC Master Catalog and create it. Now that the catalog is created, as you can see, it's absolutely empty. I'm going to plug in my card. I like to use a card reader. Um, you can connect your camera directly to the computer, but is, it is the slowest possible download. So I'd like to use an external card reader. And as you can see on the left hand side, I have my card, my EOS digital, and here's my card, and here are some images of Savannah. Notice they are set to copy. And where are they going to be copied to? So I'm going to choose my external hard drive. So I'll choose other destination, and I will choose a master drive and I will choose a folder that I previously created named photo archive. Choose it. Then I will also create a second backup so it's going to back up at the same time to two different locations and my second backup will be my AA backup drive. I will create a folder called photos backup and create that folder and choose it. And I also would like to rename these individual images. As you can see, they're all named underscore MG and a number. That doesn't mean anything to me. Under rename files, I can actually put the model's name, and that is Savannah. And then I can also add some keywords. So it'll be much easier for me to search for images um, once I have a lot of images loaded up. So I'll put the keyword Savannah, I'll put the keyword model, and so on. So I'll just use two keywords for this one. And then as we look down where the destination area is, I like to organize my folders by date because I like the numerical serial number, if you will, uh, that it creates. So I always choose by date, and I always choose the format date of the year and then the day folder, but that's up to you. You can change it if you like. So here it is. It's showing me that it's going to my photo archive folder. It will generate a folder 2021 and it will generate a folder with the date that I shot this 2021-09-06, I believe. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and import. While the images are downloading, let me tell you about the drive that I'm using. I'm using the SanDisk SSD drive. They're small, portable, and very durable. I like to put a label on them. One is an A, the other one is the AA, so that way I'll never make a mistake as to which one is a backup. So it is important to know that not all drives are made equally. 
I'm using the SanDisk Professional G Drive SSD because this drive is extremely durable, fast, reliable. It has an enclosure that can withstand 1,000 pounds of pressure, so it can be dropped or stepped on without being damaged. It is also resistant to dust, water, so if you're traveling or using it outdoors, no need to worry about the elements. The drive has 1,050 megabytes per second read and write speeds, which is super fast. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the image is downloaded. And if I'm looking here on the left-hand side, I have the folders that are already created for me. And um, I like to rename the folder, the date folder. I like to add the actual name of the subject or location or whatever it is that you've shot. So to do so, it's very simple. I right click on the folder, I choose rename, and I just add the name of my subject or location. And now this folder is renamed on the Lightroom interface and it mirrors back to my hard drive. So let's take a look and see what my hard drive looks like, actually what both hard drives look like. Okay, so here's my computer interface. I will click on a master hard drive and I have in here a folder called LRC Master Catalog. That is my Lightroom catalog and this is my Lightroom catalog file. Next to that folder, I have a folder called Photo Archive, and I have a subfolder for the year, and then another folder for the actual images, which contain the date and the name of my subject, and all the images are there. So this is my master hard drive. For the backup, I have the AA backup drive, and as you can see here, inside I also have a photo backup uh, folder, and this folder, by default gets renamed as import on November 8th. There's nothing you can change about this, so it always says import and at the specific date. And then if you look inside, I have the exact same images backed up. So the last thing we need to do is actually back up our Lightroom catalog. And we do so by checking our Lightroom preferences to make sure that our backup option is turned on. So we will go to Lightroom Classic menu, Catalog Settings, and we're going to change the backup, backup catalog. Instead of once a week, we're going to change it to when Lightroom Next exits, or every time Lightroom exits. We're going to close it. We're going to quit Lightroom. And here it is, it's asking us, where do we want to back up this catalog to? So I will go ahead and click on Choose navigate through my OS to backup, which is my AA backup. I will create a new folder. I will call it LRC backup catalog. I'll create it. I will choose it and I will back it up. Easy peasy. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial how to download your images from your card to two different drives. One is a backup, one is a master using the SanDisk Professional SSD drives. If you would like to learn all the ins and outs of Lightroom Classic with me, take a look at Sammy's Photo School website. The link is down below. While you're down there, go ahead, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of our next video. And thanks for watching.